Taurus, Elsie here to do your reading for the week ahead. Hello, how the heck are you? Thank you for coming here and clicking here. It is uh, Tuesday as I do this. You might not get it till an upload on Wednesday. Hopefully I get it up on Tuesday, but um, I am here to, yeah, read for you for the week ahead, Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I do always read for the week ahead when I do the, um, the weekly reads. Okay, so a couple changes. We've got a new deck. A new deck we're trying out. It is an oracle deck and it says Voices of the Souls Oracle. Just came today actually, so um, we're going to give it a shot. And we've also got a new tarot deck we're going to use as well. Look at that. It is fun, I have to say. It's fun getting new energy. It really is. All right. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Charlie is telling me that we should use these as well. We should start here. This is the new deck I got just up. A week ago or so and it is the quantum oracle all right let's look at it taurus sun moon rising venus and jupiter if you're interested in a private read please look below the yellow dot is where you want to be find the code take it over to wizio that's where you can book me readings begin at 40 dollars. that's before the discount yeah all right here we go taurus sun moon rising venus and jupiter my bull gang i am your bully sister i am a taurus sun oh here we go so I think this is a challenge, really. It's just a consciousness of lack. I think that you battle yourself, Taurus. You try and stay out of the consciousness of lack, but I do feel like it easily finds you. Or lately, maybe just lately, Taurus. Feeling like you don't have enough money, feeling like you don't have enough love or enough knowledge. Enough abundance, period. There's so much abundance there. Yeah. So maybe you're battling in a consciousness of lack right now, feeling, and it doesn't mean that it's going on around you, Taurus. It just means that this is your perception right now. You're kind of seeing yourself as in, in a cycle of lack here. In the consciousness, yeah. In the consciousness, you're, you're thinking that maybe, maybe I've got a bit of rosy colored glasses on. Maybe things really aren't as good as they seem. I don't know why, but that's, that's, um, that's what it feels like. Your inability to be able to, to see you from the outside clouds your judgment. I think you're pretty amazing, but I think you live in a consciousness of lack. You need some peace. Yeah. I think you need to, to try and find ways to uh, calm the mind, whether that be with meditation or music. Maybe you want to do some painting. Um you know, acrylics or something like that, Taurus. You need some peace. That means you need meditation, which and you can get that anywhere. You don't have to be sitting on a pillow going, um, right, to get your meditation. It can be sometimes, it can be the place that, um, the, a place that you go in your mind. It could be just a place where you go to be quiet within the self. All right, what do we got here? We've got learning and calm. Interesting. We've got peace and calm. And we've got learning. So I feel like you're learning to fight this beast. I want to say it's a beast, Taurus, because I feel like this isn't really where you are. I don't think like you're in lack. I think that sometimes old ideas or memories arise where you were sort of floundering about i see somebody kind of like not really being able to swim like arms in the water it feels like um that you've been sort of floundering about wishing for peace but feeling in a consciousness of lack it's time for you to learn peace and calm to learn how to shut it down the negative talk yeah tell me about learning and calm I think you're learning the calm. You're learning how to find peace, how to be with yourself. You'd be surprised how many people will overschedule themselves and their children in order to stay ahead of themselves so they don't have to think. They don't have to be there and think in this energy. Yeah, because they live in a consciousness of lack. Some people just want to put something in every second of their calendar in the day just so they don't have to be alone with themselves and their thoughts i think you're learning to do it 
What else do we have here for Taurus? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the week ahead, please. Week ahead, energy. All right. What have we got here? Death in the reverse. It says, I'm learning that endings are merely beginnings. So it came up in the reverse, which makes me feel that... Oh yeah, I just had the, the deck in the reverse. Okay, so yeah, I'm learning that endings are merely new beginnings. So it feels like something has ended here, which could be the cause for the consciousness of lack, right? Um, so it could be the reason why in, in your self-conscious, maybe you've been, you feel like, um, it feels like rejection. Just listening abandonment is what it feels like you feel abandoned we've got abundance it says i am a limits limitless being and i can manifest whatever i desire in this physical reality which is true i've got change in the reverse it says i understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement taurus you are a fixed sign it might be hard for you to change i really feel like you really need to get into this energy more of I am a limitless being because I feel like right here you're not exactly feeling that. We've got health. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. We have happiness in the reverse. It says I'm aware that being happy means that I'm on the right path. So maybe you are on the right path, but your lack of consciousness or consciousness of lack, I should say, your consciousness of lack makes you feel as though you're not on the right path. I think you are. It feels, it, I'm not feeling anything here that is, is terrible or bad. I feel that you think that it's the calm and the peace that brings the happiness. But sometimes the calm and the peace is preceded by chaos. And that's the only reason that you know what calm and peace are, because you know how chaotic it can be. It's like you can't understand how beautiful the light is if you've never been in the darkness. And I feel like that's what's going on here. I feel like you're learning that calm and peace is where you want to be. And it's time to hold off on those negative thoughts you've been having about self. All right. Let's get some tarot on it. And we have a new tarot deck, y'all. So cute. It is called Tarot de Luz, is what it's called. And the depictions are beautiful. They are all about, um, they are all about um, muted colors. <laughs> beautiful, muted colors. Yeah, let's we'll see them as we pull them out. They're kind of small, so I hope you've got a good view. But all right, here we go. Sun, moon rising, Venus and Jupiter. We're looking at Taurus, please. Tell us more about this learning of the peace and the calm and getting rid of this consciousness of lack. I just want to know what is giving you this consciousness of lack? Like, why are you, you know, back in the depths of your heart and your mind, you're feeling like you're in lack. Why is that? Eight of Wands. Because some type of communication that you're getting or not getting. Tell me about the Eight of Wands, please. It's a communication that either you're waiting on or a communication that you got that just didn't sit well with you. Tell me about the Eight of Wands, please. The Eight of Wands is the Ten of Pentacles. And the Nine of Cups. And the chariot. It feels like you feel that this is never coming. <laughs> yeah. That, um, that the peace and the calm is never going to get there. You're never going to be happy. That you have to go through all this change. It might be turbulent where you are right now. It feels like you... It feels like you are on the right path, but you don't think you are. Because you feel that it must be peace and calm all the time or I'm not on the right path. And the truth is that change is here. And when change is here, things can get a little rocky, a little wild, right? So I feel like um, the Eight of Wands, um, it feels like it's somebody who is a long-term relationship that wants happiness with you. And it's coming in quickly. 
and you don't feel if you're ready for it. It feels like you don't feel ready for it, a consciousness of lack. It feels like there is somebody that's about to arrive and almost like you feel it and you're not sure if you're enough. All right, Taurus. Let's take a look. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, please. Let's take a look at Taurus. Okay, the King of Cups coming out first. Too many. Lots coming out at the same time. Taurus, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the week ahead. Tell me about Taurus. Got the High Priestess and the Five of Swords. Okay. We've got the Seven of Swords in the reverse. I think, Taurus, you're going to learn some sort of truth either about the King of Cups or from the King of Cups. Ten of Swords. Silence is coming to an end here, Taurus. Someone's about to break the silence. Ten of Swords and the High Priestess. The High Priestess is the one who's silent. And we've got the Magician. Bottom of the deck, we have the King of Wands. Interesting. Star. The Four of Swords. There's healing here. Three of Cups, the King of Wands. The King of Wands is in the future. If the King of Wands, the King of Wands is Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, there could be a King of Wands in the future. That's what the bottom of the deck is for me. It's what you can't see coming in the future. The star with the King of Wands tells me that there is a healed king, or the king is healing. The Four of Swords tells me that while the King is healing, that you don't have a lot of communication with this person. This person could be a Leo, but we're in a general reading, also can be Sagittarius or Aries. We have the Three of Cups here, which tells me that somebody wishes to get together with you or celebrate with you, but it's been very quiet. Nine of Wands, because someone is behind the fear wall. Ten of Wands in the reverse. They're holding off, um, dropping their burdens. Yeah. All right. So I think that um, either something is going to be revealed to you from the like by the King of, of Cups or the King of Cups. You're about to something is about to be revealed to you about that person. The King of Cups is Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. The High Priestess is right next door. She's Pisces, and um, we have the Five of Swords. It feels like you intuitively know that there is some type of connection here that you have a love connection. It is a depth of emotions here, but it's been very quiet, and it bothers you. It bothers you that it's been quiet. You're not really sure why it's been quiet. They show a face here and then they show all of these swords in front of the face. It's like it's blocking the face. It's almost like it was it was uh, hard words or maybe it's just feeling in a consciousness of lack that's bringing up the five of swords. It feels like there is going to be an end to the silence. And so if you've been worried about this, the, the, um, the silence that's going on here, it is coming to an end. The Ten of Swords is here. And then we have the Magician. It feels like we've been, you've been manifesting the end of the silence here. But also I feel like you have all the tools that you want to bring any of this to an end at any time. I don't even know what's going on here, but just the fact that the Seven of Swords is in the reverse tells me that there is some sort of lie or deceit that's coming to the surface. It has to do with the King of Cups. Let's take a look at that and find out what's going on. I think you're trying to manifest communication, but you're worried that the communication is going to be something that you don't want to hear. Interesting. 
So while you're living in the calm and the peace, then the consciousness of lack is, is making you crazy, I think. You're waiting for communication from someone that you feel will be your happiness and your long-term relationship here. But there isn't anything right now, I feel. I feel like we're ready to go. But someone's under the surface with their feelings. That's cancer right over there, the chariot. We're, we want to move on it, but somebody is not being honest. All right. Didn't we have this come out in a reading the other day? In the same spot, I think. The, um, the storks. Somebody was mentioning it in the comments. Some coming back to the nest. It's like they feel like you are home. Coming back in the spring, possibly. I think this person has been working on themselves or has been working really hard. This is someone that I feel that you already have feelings for. The Queen of Hearts is in the bottom right hand corner. And so we have the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups present here. It feels like if you are the masculine, this could be you. You could be the King of Cups. There is an Ace of Cups here. That's why I say that. There's an Ace of Cups in the bottom right-hand corner. So you could be the masculine, or this could be your masculine, something you're finding out about them. One more. Taurus, one more. All right. So for some of you, you could have worked together. You don't have to, but we. Uh, this tower that comes in the Lenormand is a tower that represents um, a large corporation or an industry or um, an institution. It also is about getting the bird's eye view because the tower is very high, right? From the highest point, you'll see a lot. It's like... It feels as though this energy here is, I want to make a move, but I want to be able to see everything before I make the move. Because the Six of Swords is here, and it's about moving on or making a move or learning lessons. For me as a reader, it's Six of Swords is about being able to move on because you've completed a certain amount of lessons, and now you can move forward. But it feels like there is um, somebody here who who either wants clarity or a clearer view of the Five of Swords and the Magician. How how did this happen? How are we moving away from each other? How are we just kind of looking at everything at the bird's eye view? I want to manifest movement. The Five of Swords, but I don't want to argue about it. Somebody here feels like this beginning, because it's 1 and 9 is 10, right? And break it further down, take away the 0, and you've got the new beginning. It feels like somebody wants a new beginning. They want to move on to a new beginning, but it feels like there's unfinished business or um, that we don't have a clear enough look at things. It's like this is misunderstood. The Five of Swords is a misunderstanding, about where we stand with each other. There's sadness here. Sadness with um, the swans who mate for life and divine timing in the ending. It feels like somebody thinks that this is never coming to fruition. Yeah. I think we're talking either about a masculine or to a masculine. What else are we doing here? Right. All right. <clears throat> Tell me about this masculine with the Ace of Cups. Holding the Ace of Cups, please. Tell me about the masculine who is holding the Ace of Cups. This peace and calm could be calm before the storm as well. Um, if this, if somebody's coming into your life here, Taurus, then it could be like you don't feel as happy as you should. You're waiting on change. This could be the change that's coming. Yeah. We have the Four of Pentacles, and so the masculine has been very quiet. We have the Empress. I, 
I feel that the masculine wants to make their way back to the empress because we're looking at the storks who come back to the same nest every year, no matter where they've been. And they come back in the spring, essentially. They move around like every other bird, right? Finding the warm weather. It feels like there are feelings here already that the empress is connected to the masculine and that there already are feelings or a feeling of home, like you feel like home to me. I want to come back. You feel like home to me. So you could be dealing with a Leo. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. Um, somebody is trying to get greater clarity on the whole situation. Somebody is trying to get greater clarity so we can grow. If I'm going to go back here, there needs to be growth, clarity, honesty, transparency, happiness, right? It's the happiest card, card in the deck for sure. So whatever is found out within this corporation or industry or um, maybe you two work together, whatever clarity has been brought in that situation, I feel is something that somebody needed a clearer look of what's been going on in order to be able to move forward from this. And we end up with the six of six of cups. So somebody is trying to get a clearer look or the bird's eye view of the soulmate. For some of you, you could have met this person in the workplace or in the industry you work in. Maybe they work in the same industry. Um, but there is a long-term friendship or two people that know each other for a while. They already have affection for each other as friends. And so um, turning it over into love probably isn't a far stretch of the imagination, but it feels like that when we were working together, we were just friends, but we had this deep connection as friends, this deep soul connection as friends. Tell me what the um, challenge is here. Tell me what the challenge is here. The challenge is I can't make a decision. I'm up at night. I'm feeling nervous about it. I want to have a new start, but I feel like I can't. I feel like it's not coming because this person that walked away is probably never going to call me again. But they are because there's the eight of wands. So I think what we're going to do, Taurus, is we're going to go into the extension if you're interested. We're going to look at these cards here, I feel, because the person that walked away is the person that's coming back, I believe. And I think that it was probably some hard words that were said. And um, so let's go into the extended here. Now, we still haven't even touched on, right? What's the information that's come to light about this person? I think that you're finding something out about the King of Cups. Um, the Seven of Swords is in the reverse. So the King of Cups or this, fem or this masculine could be someone who is going to be honest with you finally. And then we have the we have the silence that is breaking here. And the silence is breaking. This person I feel is coming for you, Taurus, and telling you that they want you um, to be their person because storks mate for lice. Life, not lice, life. <laughs> it's gonna be a happy time, but I feel like it precedes this. Like I think this precedes the happy time, which is the lack, the consciousness of lack, which is the nine of swords. I feel like um, it, you've been thinking about this connection for a while and we're going to find out how it transpires from here because we're going to find out if this stays as friendship or if it turns over into love. So if you're interested in coming and watching me pull this apart in the extended, please look below. There is a link there in the description. I'm going to go for now, Taurus. Thank you, my bull gang. I love you guys so much and I'm going to be there. I'll see you there. And if not, this is where we part. Well, I'll see you in a day or two. Love you guys. Bye-bye.